You know, I just watched this, uh, the Lori Ladd live, and um, I would recommend Lori Ladd. She would be to me like a really close mirror as to where, how my ascension goes. But um, I don't know who your mirror might be on either if there's a mirror you have on YouTube or outside of yourself that you've run into. There's a few other mirrors that I have, but as far as like who I've watched, it's Lori Ladd. And so she did a live today, which ended as one hour, 22 minutes and 33 seconds. I'm being silent because it's a live video that was that long. Un no consciousness about it. She just said, I'm going. I'm ending. I'm ending this now. Click. And so, and then it showed back up as YouTube flips it, lives over into the into the mix. She left it public, not private. And so there you go. <clears throat> Think about that. You do live in a living universe, right? And so the video itself, though, and this is something to think about. And it's something that I'm kind of learning and universe is showing me. And who knows, it may come out in the channeling tonight. It may not. Um, we're always looking to escape where we're at for a better situation. When the situation you're currently in is what you were looking for previously. Keep that in mind. Where you are now is what you might have been looking for back, back ago, however long ago, backwards in time. Even though time again is non-linear, it's st stacked, but it's as you see it. So back that way, you wanted to be where you are now. But now you're here looking to go that way. Doesn't work. It's not going to work. You need to be where you are. You need to stay where you are and be grateful on the ground where you are with a... This is where I, I envision myself. This is where my highest timeline is, but where I'm at is amazing. And you let go, but you hold that thought. But you have no, if you get there or not, or how you get there or anything. It's just, that would be my coolest timeline. Stop not being where you're at. I'm learning this and it's coming fast. That's why I'm doing this video. It's, it's, it's a lot of these videos, if you haven't figured out how YouTube works, for a lot of people as well, some of these videos are just me repeating what I, I need to repeat to myself so that I, yeah, okay, I, this is this is where I'm at, I agree. And I'm just, the videos, me. Except, yes, understand, understanding where I'm at inside myself, but also explaining that to you, so that, because a lot of you are probably in kind of the same spot. You're, you were chasing, it's old energy now, and you can start to feel it, chasing out of where you are, like, this isn't where I want to be here. This, so I, I want to be there. There. But you're here. So stop chasing out there. Because you can only be here. And in order to get there, you have to stay here. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. And so I just explained it to myself. And so there we go. So then the video makes sense, I guess. But that's how these things work, right? Um, but does that make sense to you? Um, stay grounded where you're at and grateful for everything that comes up in your day. I mean, Lori said, was talking about being in Africa and how it's kind of like um, where when you're camping, I'll leave it as camping, where you have to be more grounded because it's easier for you guys than being in Africa. But if you're camping, you have to be grounded where you're at. Did you go get wood? Dunk. Do we have enough water? Dunk. Is there ice in the cooler? Dunk. If you're doing that kind of camping. Um, is, there, is the fire going? Dunk. Is the tent sturdy and, and, and reset? Dunk. You know, all these things, your, your, your universe is taking care of your universe. It's not, you're, that's one of the disadvantages to society is that we have to, we're so easy, you go to the grocery store, you put your food away and an hour later, everything's done. You didn't hunt, you didn't have to, you can eat dinner in 10 minutes if you slap together something. So you have a lot of empty space that would normally be filled by creating your universe. Going to pick the, yeah, pick the food and clean the veggies and da 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 da, da whatever. Pluck the chicken, but I don't know if you eat chicken, but whatever, you get the idea. So think about it that way. Ground yourself. Stop thinking about where you're not then because then it gives you too much time to think. Be where you're at because it's the only place you can be. And if you stay where you're at and you want to get there, but you're staying here and not thinking about being there, the universe knows where you, what you want if you put it out there enough. And chances are most of you put it out there and taken it back a trillion times. Um, 
so yeah, in the same day, probably put it out there and took it back a hundred different times. So you know where you want to be. You got it on paper. You got it in your head. You got it in your heart. You got an idea. Let go. Stay where you're at. And watch where that show up. Just remember, where you are now, back there, you wanted to be here. Now you're here, and now you want to be there. And when you get there, when you get over here, off screen here, right? When you get over there, then there's somewhere else you're going to want to be because you're already there. So let's. where else do I want to be? No, stop. Be where you're at. It changes faster if you stop doing all that. I don't know. I hope that helped. It helped me. And it wasn't just me saying that. None of these things ever really are. That could have. That was mostly Saint Germain channeled through um, your your higher self. You know, you guys do it too when you're sitting around talking and whatnot. And maybe you're in the shower and you get a thought, and then the thought goes to the left and then to the right, and and then poof, you get an epiphany. Is that you? Is that your higher self? Does it matter? Love you. See you tonight in the uh, channeling, 7 p.m. 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Love you.